No detecting this week for me here in Florida. It's just way too hot. Triple digit heat, guys. But I do want to tell you about a new tool that I've been using to help me find these items. Look at this nice vintage bracelet, guys. Really old. And I love relic hunting. I'm going to show you all these items that I found. Look at that wheat penny right there. All these were found on the same lot. And I'm going to tell you how I found this lot. It was just loaded, as you can see, from one item to another. Uh, and I tell you what, I hit this lot maybe four or five times. Look at there, that was one day. So I took a friend back, he found this nice broad head ax. And again, this is either the third or fourth time I went there, it's just, it never failed to produce. And I'm going to tell you in a minute how I found this lot, but I want to show you more of the finds because it just goes on and on. Like there's Russ. Russ found three of these little silver pepper and salt shakers, um, the toy cars, coins, you name it, knives or, or a murder weapon, however you want to look at it. This lot had it. And I was so thankful that I found this lot using a new tool right here onx hunt it's used by hunters to identify the property lines it's got a lot of different tools built into the app that you can use now let me pause this and tell you about this i actually had my app set up to bring up the old photos see that house it's not there anymore so driving around i spotted this vacant lot and with that app, I could see that the house was gone. ONX Hunt. So it's going to bring up the current maps. And I've got a 2019 Ford, and it pulls it up on the um, digital display, on the, on the radio, and the, the vehicle as well. So it's a little mobile app. You can use it at home as well. But I use it 90% of the time on my cell phone. And you can see behind me, this whole lot is where we found all these items. This house had been built in the early 1900s and demolished probably 10 years ago. But I had mine set for the old map. So ONX Hunt, again, is used by hunters to help them identify property lines. But it's great for metal detecting, I'm telling you. And I'll tell you about the price here in a minute. There's the mobile version, and it's easy to download, easy to use. You drive around, and you look at the property lines. Now, if I find a lot where I don't know who the owner is, I can easily look them up on Google, get a phone number, call them. You can also do the distance between you know one point and another. Hunters use this all the time. But you could also have a practical purpose for metal detecting uh, if you wanted to, um, yeah, from where you park your vehicle to a hot spot, you, if you wanted to map it out. It's got uh, three different types of maps. I use the satellite version, but whatever suits your needs, um, right there is pretty much how I use it. And that's telling you all the different resources. You can also download, uh, go offline with a map. $29.99 a year. That's what I pay, guys. And that's just for one state. Now, if you want to do more than your home state, then you're going to have to pay the big bucks, $99, uh, $99 a year. But to me, that's well worth it. $30 bucks a year. I can have this drive around. Now, here's another cool feature. You could actually add a waypoint. Those are little waypoints where I've been hunting uh, over the last year and I'll mark these little spots you can actually take a photograph of what you find and stick it in there so I want to click one here from the beach now I noticed right away that it's red and I will usually change mine to blue I just like the, the blue better so it's easy to change right there hit edit change it to blue and hit save 
and you can add a photograph like i said right there you see the photo on the left of the items that you found in case you you know want to go back and try to remember a certain item so it's kind of neat again you can look at the whole state so this is where i live in florida you can see you know, kind of centralized there in the center is my fine so i do both the beaches on each coast and um you know you may want to try to remember an item that you found a year ago and at what beach and you just again you simply click on those waypoints and that will bring up you know that particular item that you added in there you can actually add notes as well if you you want to be a little bit more detailed on what you uh, found you can see right here uh, that was the first ring that I found with the legend so I can tell you this was a, a couple of months ago a nice vintage silver ring and I can add there I got 925 uh, ring I know that I found this in Mulberry it's got the date up there and you can actually zoom in on that location as well if you really want to get a up close look at where you found it right here we're gonna do that this is a park city of mulberry and right there in front of the bleachers there's that rain again you can add as many pictures as you want as well there is uh, that looks like a location that was from a church that i did there's some items that i found there you, again multiple pictures ever many that you want to stick in there it's just a great tool to use, especially if you want to go back. And I'm hoping, you know, I'm going to keep using this. I've had about a year and a half, and I can only imagine five or six years, those dots are all going to be all over the place. And uh, it's just kind of neat to go back there and look at it, especially if you want to show a friend. Here's one at the beach. Um, and you can see, again, multiple pictures as well. It's got the date. That was August the 8th of 22. So that's you know almost a year ago from right now that I think today's July the 8th I'm not sure this video will probably air in October you can add as much as you want on the notes maybe what kind of detector you had who was with you at the time also see that green little Christmas tree right there it's pointing uh, at the center it will show you where the parks are at so a lot of times if I'm driving around in a, a different city uh, I'm not going to know where the parks are, but I can pull this up and when I see that, click on it and that tells me City of Mulberry, there's a park. Uh, just by looking at that little Christmas tree. Again, if you want to find a property owner, and I have no idea who this guy is, I just clicked on this, so don't, don't be calling this guy or driving him crazy. Um, but this is to give you the property owners and then it's up to you to try to find that phone number get permission and it's going to tell you the boundaries of that lot as well a great tool if you're scouting which i'll do once a week uh, i'll get out and drive around or if, you know i may be out to dinner or just running an errand and turn this on trying to identify uh, an area i can see there city of mulberry owns that uh, i'm just clicking these at random so just to give you an idea of how this app ONX works. What I'm going to do right now is add uh, a waypoint. So you can see right there at the bottom left. Let's say I just metal detected. I click that. I like to use blue. I'm going to change it to blue. Type in some notes. You know, what did you find? Maybe what kind of detector? Whatever you want to stick in your notes. It's got the date at the top. And then you simply hit save. And that's going to save that waypoint and you can bring this up again at home you can add the photos right there i'm going to add a, a photo that's just a random photo i have on my computer by uh, decal that's how you add this it's i'm telling you guys it's so simple if i can figure it out trust me anybody can do this it's that simple you can see now you've got the photograph in there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and, and get rid of it here so that it doesn't stay on there. But easy to do. You just click it. And then right there at the bottom, 
Uh, it's got the leak. Bam. It's gone. If you, if you make a mistake. Again, I just want to show you it's easy. You just click on any lot and it's going to tell you who owns that. This is updated too each year. Um, I did find this old business right here with a bunch of old trees. I could not get permission. Couldn't find this person, but uh, it popped up on the map. And I actually drove by there. It's kind of a neat location. Really old, probably, I would say, um, 1920s or so. So again, just uh, use this to your advantage, folks. It's, it comes up with a name, comes up with an address. Do a little research, you'll find the property owner. Uh, there's some interesting buildings right there. Those are abandoned, kind of sitting back in the woods off from the road. And this tool is what you're going to use to identify those locations. Well, I hope you enjoyed that brief overview. ONX Hunt. Easy to use. Uh, it's great if you're relic hunting and you want to go out there and find the ownership and the property lines. Check it out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.